Now that was definitely some party. Yeah, you said it, bro. Oh, hey, flamethrowers. It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And Sonic the Hedgehog here. And as you guys can see, we are in our pony forms. Because we're still in Ponyville for a little while. Yeah, let's just say... Whew, this Halloween party is definitely one to remember. Yeah. <laughs> right now, this is the aftermath of the party. And let me just tell you, it's been crazy. Yeah, especially with this. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, this is actually my castle that I have here in Ponyville. I know it looks like Twilight's castle. In fact, believe it or not, this was actually inspired by Twilight's castle. In fact, I have a little bit of in fact, I have a little bit of a fusion of all three castles. The castle in the Crystal Empire, the castle in Canterlot, and the Twilight's castle. And well, <laughs> Here's the aftermath of that, so that's my castle. Yeah, we had the party here. It was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. I liked it. It was great. And then let me just tell you, some of our friends never been to Ponyville, so it was pretty fun seeing everybody get along. Yeah, it was pretty fun. So let's start off with what happened. Well, first off, Tails, he actually showed up dressed up as Tails doll. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah, Tails, he actually was pretty cool. And not only that, but, Twi but Twilight also introduced him to uh, her lab and her, li and her library. Yeah, I was actually surprised that uh, <laughs> she had a lab. Well, how else is she able to brew up the potions and stuff? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to lie, Tails, he actually did have a lot of fun. And believe it or not, he... And believe it or not, he actually said that he didn't believe in magic. He, everybody, every po every unicorn and alicorn was shocked for the moment until Twilight saved his butt. <laughs> and now he definitely does believe in magic. Yeah, I never thought I'd say this, but he's lucky that he, I didn't kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Sonic? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that those chili dogs, though. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Those chili dogs were definitely something. It's too bad the ponies couldn't eat them. Yeah, I mean, hello, they're ponies. They can't eat meat. <laughs> yeah, when was the last time we ever seen a horse or a pony eat meat? Never. Exactly. <laughs> and besides, those carrot dogs that they had, it was definitely pretty interesting too. Yeah. Anyway, back to Tails. Well, Tails, he definitely got along with everybody. Twilight... And all the other princesses, they got along with him too. After when he kind of cooled down a little bit and said he finally believed in magic. All the unicorns were already charged up and ready to fire. <laughs> yeah, it was like a firing squad. I'm just surprised that he didn't blindfold himself and started smoking. <laughs> yeah, classic firing squad thing. Uh, anyway, another thing that happened was with Knuckles. He dressed up as Sir Galahad this year. It was definitely interesting. Anyway, Knuckles, he definitely did have a lot of fun there, too. He kind of raved a little bit. He kind of raved a little bit on the dance floor, dancing with Rouge for a little while. <laughs> and, and and Julie Sue. And just to let you know, guys, Julie Sue and Rouge, they're still at each other's throats a little bit. It's fine, though. Ugh. Just as long as they keep their distances. Anyway, um, anyway, him and Applejack, they were definitely really competitive there. It was insane. It was insane. Like, Knuckles and Applejack. See, look, guys, in the backyard, we had, like, a whole bunch of Halloween-themed games, like Bobbing for Apples and Pin the Femur on the Skeleton and all that other stuff. And for the little fillies, they also had, they also played mini-games where they get a bag of candy. <laughs> Yeah, Apple Bloom, yeah, Apple Bloom, yeah, Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle definitely went home with a lot of candy. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> anyway, Knuckles, like I said, he actually did have a lot of fun. Besides his ex-girlfriend and his wife trying to, you know, fight. Yikes, it was just bad. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Luckily, you got Rouge. Yeah, I know, I got her. <sighs> I'm just glad she didn't, you know, stomp a mud hole in Julie Sue. What the heck does that even mean, anyway? I have no idea, but it sounded weird. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, Knuckles, he definitely did have a lot of fun. And one other person that definitely did have a lot of fun was Silver. 
Yeah, it was nice to have Silver back for Halloween. Yeah, because honestly, now that he's back to normal, everything's all good. <laughs> yeah. Also, by the way, I heard that you actually cloned both... I heard that you actually cloned both Blaze and his daughter. And his daughter, Solar. Yeah, I did. So that way, Silver can have his own family. So that way, Silver can have his own family. And believe it or not, they're actually staying in his timeline. Oh, I see. So that way, he can go back and forth into his timeline and go back home. Yeah, but he can... Yeah. <laughs> And the best part is, I also fixed it so that way he can travel to and fro each timeline and nothing will change. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, he dressed up as like a scary pirate out there for Halloween. It was actually pretty good. Silver, he actually did have a lot of fun. And he was, and not to mention all the uh, unicorns and alicorns, they were actually interested in him because of his uh, psychokinesis. Yeah, because believe it or not, all the ponies know how to levitate stuff with their magic. And he knows how to levitate stuff with their with his psychokinesis. It was actually pretty interesting. He actually fit right in. Yeah, he actually did fit right in. It was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I was yeah, I never thought I'd say this, but it was actually really nice seeing Silver happy instead of him trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Those days are over now. Yeah, I'm glad that they are. <sighs> well, anyway. Silver, he actually did have a lot of fun, but what about the little kids? Well, all the little kids, they did have fun too, especially Cream. She definitely had a lot of fun. And Vanilla? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I honestly didn't get Vanilla's costume, but she definitely looked sexy. <laughs> Don't I know it? She always looks sexy with every outfit she wears. Flame. What? It's true though. <laughs> anyway, Cream and Vanilla, they actually did have a lot of fun there. She, Cream, she actually had fun playing with Sweetie Belle, uh, Apple Bloom, and Scootaloo. She actually did have a lot of fun playing with them and playing the mini games and getting a whole bunch of bags of candy. <laughs> it was actually pretty fun. Cheese also had a lot of fun too, playing with, um, playing with Angel Bunny and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where Fluttershy was. Well, at that time, Fluttershy, she was, uh, turned it, she was, she turned into Flutterbat. It was just horrible and bad. It was just bad. But it was okay. She actually fought her apple urges and she just chilled out for a little bit. Well, that's good. I'm glad she didn't bite Apple Applejack's neck off. What do you mean by that? Get it? Because her name's Apple? Applejack? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got that. Nice job, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Cream and Vanilla, they actually did have a lot of fun going out there and having some fun on Nightmare Night. Yeah, they actually did have a lot of fun. It was great. Ah, man, Ponyville is definitely a place for Halloween, huh? Yep, it is. Anyway, another thing that happened was this. <laughs> yeah, Applejack. Like, guys, you know how when there's like a great big event that happens, Applejack is mainly in charge of the treats, and man... I have not seen that many apple desserts ever in my life. It seemed like the whole apple family pitched in and made all sorts of different apple themed treats. Apple pies, apple turnovers, apple cookies, apple fritters, and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they sure do love apples. I mean, who doesn't love a good apple every now and then? Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, well anyway, yeah, Applejack, she actually did, well, she actually was really cool. And plus, not only that, it was the first time I ever seen her wear, like, a dress. Well, not really, because, uh, there was a few times where I did actually see her in a dress, and I'm not gonna lie, she hated it. <laughs> but this time, Rarity thought it was kind of nice for them to wear Halloween-themed dresses, and so, Applejack was cool with it. Applejack was definitely cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Rarity, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's still a little bit upset that she didn't make it into the costume contest finale, but she's still okay. Well, that's good. Same thing with her EG counterpart? Yeah, her EG counterpart's fine, too. Right now, they're both in, they're both in their rooms, uh, resting. Wait, rooms? Yeah. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, <laughs> my castle has rooms. Like, a whole mess of rooms. 
Like, on one side of the castle, it's rooms for the ponies, and on the other side of the castle, it's for the it's for their EG versions. Because, believe it or not, guys, um, my castle is also sort of my Equestria... It's sort of my Equestria Team Universal base. Yeah, because, uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, but right now, it's under... But right now, my Mobian uh, base is under construction, so I'll show you it later. Uh, sometime this week, I don't know, I'll show you. But anyway, back to Applejack. Yeah, she made all sorts of stuff. And same thing with Pinky. Like, those two, when it, when it came to throwing down in the kitchen, those two definitely do not know how to bake a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely great. I mean, Applejack, she was def she definitely did have a lot of fun there, too. Yeah, <laughs> she definitely, and she definitely did have a lot of fun competing against Knuckles. <laughs> yeah. Those two are always competitive. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta admit, Knuckles and Applejack, those two are definitely something. Yeah. Anyway, another thing that happened was Cosmo. And yes, Cosmo actually dressed up like a monster. Since she controls plants, she actually made herself look like this. <laughs> it actually is a little bit creepy, I know. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> anyway... Cosmo, she really did have a lot of fun out there. In fact, believe it or not, it was her first time going to Ponyville. It was her first time going there. It's a shame that she doesn't have a pony count. It's too bad she doesn't have a pony counterpart. Uh, for all I know, it's probably Gloriosa. <laughs> you know, the uh, girl from Camp Everfree that wanted to save the forest and all that stuff. It's probably her. I don't know. It might be. I bet yeah, it might be Wallflower, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, Cosmo, she definitely did have a lot of fun, and she was definitely interested by the many plants that was outside in my garden, especially the crystal flowers that I have. Crystal flowers? Yeah, it's basically, it's basically flowers that grow uh, from crystals, and they have crystal petals, uh, crystal leaves, and all sorts of stuff. It's definitely really cool. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I have all sorts of different flowers in my garden. It's uh, pretty fun and really cool. Anyway, yeah, Cosmo, she was really interested in stuff. And she even explored my garden. <laughs> what kind of stuff did you have in your garden? Well, besides the flowers, I also have, like, different statues of the enemies that we faced off against out here. Wait, you have different statues of the enemies? Yeah, like... Like, do you remember when T-Rex, Cozy Glow, and Queen Chrysalis got turned into stone? Yeah. Well, T-Rex is gone, and while Cozy Glow and Chrysalis, they are still they're they're still around. But luckily, I remembered what their statue looked like, so I had some sculptors make it, and they put it right in the center of my garden. I also have I also have statues of the mean six evil versions of the. Of the main six, I also have Discord statue, Nightmare Moon statue, and lots of other statues in there too. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is you have a whole villain statue uh, garden out there. Yeah. And what are you gonna do when they come to life? Pfft, I highly doubt if they will come to life. What is this? Night at the museum or something? I don't know. It could happen. I doubt if it can come. I doubt if they will come to life, Sonic. Anyway, so yeah, back to Cosmo. She definitely did have a lot of fun meeting all the ponies out there and all that other stuff. But the one thing that she diff that she definitely found disturbing was the way they ate plants. Like the way they ate the carrots and the apples and all those other stuff. Like she found that really uh hard to watch because, you know, she's a plant. Apples and carrots and stuff count as plants, so yeah, it was definitely hard for her to watch that. Yeah, I almost felt bad for her. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, another crazy thing that happened was this. Princess Luna, she definitely had some fun. In fact, it sure was nice to see Princess Luna actually appreciate Nightmare Night. Because, believe it or not, because of her evil counterpart, Nightmare Moon, there wouldn't have been a Nightmare Night in the first place. Oh yeah, because of Nightmare Moon, everybody decided to make it a holiday. Yeah, so they, yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's how Nightmare Night was born. 
anyway, Princess Luna, she definitely did have a lot of fun out there. And I really did like her vampire costume that she had. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty funny seeing her get down out there on the dance floor. She really does know how to have fun for a pony of the night. Yeah, <laughs> I guarantee you she's definitely going to give ponies and Mobian sweet dreams tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yep, dan yep, dreams of their candies that they're going to be eating in the morning, probably. Yeah, you know, rest assured, they probably will eat their candy in the morning. Who knows? After all, Halloween does happen every once a year. It's like the only holiday, besides Christmas, that's going to be coming up soon, uh, where you can get candy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could practically go to the store and go get candy anytime you want, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, Princess Luna, she definitely did have a lot of fun. <laughs> and you know who else had fun? Let me guess. Princess Celestia? Uh-huh, she definitely did have a lot of fun too, dressed up as James Bond. <laughs> I honestly don't know why she dressed up as James Bond. I don't know why either. <laughs> Especially the, especially the line that she said. Oh my gosh, how could I forget it? The name is Celestia. Princess Celestia. I'll have my apple jet, I'll have my apple juice. Shaken, not stirred. Oh my gosh, what the world, princess? Yeah, that was definitely crazy. She definitely did have a lot of fun getting into her character. I'm just glad that that gun was a prop. Yeah, I'm just glad that that gun that she had was a prop. <laughs> and it's a good thing Tails actually made her that gun because, uh, yeah, Ponyville doesn't have any guns out here. Yeah, they don't have any guns like that. <laughs> Luckily, Tails made that prop. Yeah, and besides, think about it. How the world are they going to hold a gun out here? I mean, nobody has hands. They have hooves. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, I can understand Spike or Discord... Or T-Rex having that type of stuff, but all that other stuff, eh, no. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, Princess Celestia, she definitely did have a lot of fun out there on that dance floor. Oh my gosh, it was definitely really good. Yeah, and not to mention, as a surprise, Apple Bloom went up on stage and started singing Thriller by Michael Jackson. Yeah, since when did, since when did Apple Bloom get into Michael Jackson? Uh, Flame, what did you do? I may have showed her a music video on YouTube of her singing, uh, Beat It. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, and she really gotten into Michael Jackson to the point where she wanted to know about Michael Jackson a whole lot more, so... Yeah, I did a video with her and Applejack and all that other stuff, and, uh, also... <laughs> I even loaned her my whole entire uh, Michael Jackson CD collection, along with my uh, CD player that I don't even use anymore. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, it does. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, yeah. Princess Celestia did have a lot of fun there. She actually really did. <laughs> anyway, another person that definitely did have a lot of fun was uh, Princess Cadence. Wow, that was Princess Cadence's costume? Yep, that was her costume. She dressed up as Queen Chrysalis. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, in a way. And in a way, it's also kind of payback. Because didn't Queen Chrysalis dress up, I mean, disguise herself as Cadence in order to get into the Crystal Empire? Yeah, she did. She pretty much ruined Cadence's wedding. Well, at least they had a re-wedding after when Chrysalis and all the other changelings was defeated. Yeah, it was definitely crazy. Yeah, but anyway, Kaden, she definitely did have a lot of fun. I actually got to spend time with her. Really? What about, what did Shining Armor do? Oh, he was okay. And besides, he trusts me. He trusts me. I mean, <laughs> I know that Cadence is married and all that stuff. I mean, come on, bro. I may have a harem and all that stuff, but do you honestly think that I'll be dumb enough to, you know, steal another guy's woman? No, I guess you're not. Yeah, exactly. And besides, she already has a daughter and everything. Yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, Cadence, she definitely did have a lot of fun. I learned so much about the Crystal Empire and all its stuff. 
I mean, I learned how King Sombra was the first ever, you know, ruler of the Crystal Empire. But then, but then he got defeated, and then Cadence took over, and lots of other stuff. It's, uh, pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad that, you know, King Sombra's gone. Yeah, I'm glad that he's gone, too. I honestly don't think if he... I honestly don't know what will happen if King Sombra was still around. Yeah, like... Remember that cl remember that clip that we seen days ago where uh we looked at what if the villains what if some of the villains weren't defeated? Oh yeah, we saw some of the clips of what happened if Discord wasn't defeated, if Queen Chrysalis wasn't defeated, if T-Rex wasn't defeated, if uh Chris if you know uh Sombra wasn't defeated and the and I never thought I'd say this but my most favorite one what if Nightmare Moon wasn't defeated? Yeah, that would be bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, it would. Ugh. Anyway, anyway, back to Cadence. Cadence, she's definitely really fun to hang around with. In fact, I even taught her to stand on her hind legs and dance a little bit. <laughs> that is definitely funny. Yeah, it is funny. Anyway, another person that definitely did have a lot of fun was Trixie. Oh, you mean that light blue pony? Yeah, Trixie. She definitely was the life of the party. Well, kind of the afterlife of the party. I mean, she actually used her old alicorn medallion to uh, give herself wings. But then the darkness took over and turned her into a flutter bat. A bat version. Yikes, that, would, that was bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, I just hope that Trixie's okay. I just love that Trixie is okay. Oh wait, hang on, she's uh, over here. Uh, Trixie, how are you feeling? The great and powerful Trixie has a great and powerful headache. Okay, well that's what you get for messing around with the medallion again. I know, and I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know what the heck I was thinking. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. You wanted to outdo Twilight again because you, after when you seen her dressed up as Belle from Beauty and the Beast, you really wanted to outshow her. Uh. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just don't ever do that again until you can fully master this alicorn magic. Until then, I'm going to keep this in my lab. Man, what the heck is up with you in labs? Dude, trust me. I do have a lot. I do have a lab here. Heck, I even got a lab in Twilight's castle. What the world, bro? Look, sometimes things look. Sometimes things get really out of control, and I do need double the help. So luckily, Twilight lets me use her lab every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, but overall, yeah, but overall, this party was definitely amazing. Yeah, but the one party, yeah, but the one thing that definitely did happen that I really, really liked, and that was slow dancing with Amy. Yeah, and me slow dancing with Mina. I mean, she, I mean, don't tell, I mean, don't get me wrong. Both Amy and Mina, they actually did really, really great in the costume contest. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so Amy, she actually won the contest of the most comments in the comment section. I mean, the most votes in the comment section. And Mina, she won for the most votes in the uh community tab okay well that's definitely really nice i wonder what mina and amy are doing now eh, for all i know they're probably inside they're probably inside <laughs> uh getting a few things to bite on oh flame oh sonic <laughs> sounds like they're calling us yeah <laughs> looks like they're ready for round two of advance well well DJ Pump, well, well, DJ, she's still spinning a little bit. What do you say we head back inside and party? I mean, I'm sure everybody else is waiting for us. Yeah, let's go back in there. <laughs> so, bro, what do you think? What? Well, Princess Celestia and me and Mom actually came up with an idea with something. And what would that be? Well... Since Team Universal and since since Team Universal and everybody else, ponies and Mobians, they've been getting along so well. 
me, Mom, and Princess Celestia, we all been talking and we think it might be a good idea if we fuse Mobius and Equestria. Wait, fuse them together? Yeah. Don't you think that would be kind of nice? Don't you think that would be a great idea? I honestly don't know, because think about it. Then how do you think both our worlds would look if Mobius and Equestria, you know... Yeah, that is true. But then again, you fused both the EG world and the My Little Pony universe. And that all turned out great. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Alright, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah. Anyway, you ready to head back in? Yeah, let's head back in. I'll meet you out th I'll meet you in there. Alright. Happy Halloween, bro. Happy Halloween, Sonic. <sighs> Well, flamethrowers, another Halloween has come and gone. And hopefully next year, guys, we'll have the same spooky fun that we had last year. I mean, this year. So, everybody, I know it's late. So, guys, get plenty of rest and take your costumes off. Put your candy away and all sorts of stuff. And get some rest because tomorrow is going to be the first day of November and it's time to put and it's time to put Halloween away and get ready for autumn time, guys. Especially Thanksgiving. That's gonna be coming up. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sure a lot of you guys definitely do have a lot of Thanksgiving plans, but that's further down this month. Anyway, again, guys, I just wanna say happy Halloween and take care of your candy. This is Flame the Dragon Hog. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.